Going country. Open and shop. Going county. Cunch OT. Trapping. Trap bando. There's loads, there's so many that I'd have to sit here and think of. It could be called something different in a year or so. Effectively, a county line is a telephone number. It's a drugs line. It tends to involve young people, um, often exploited, taking often large quantities of drugs from urban areas such as London out into county towns and to coastal towns, where they then stay in houses, often called trap houses, where they will deal drugs from, as well as perhaps some street-based drug dealing as well. A police officer would look at us and see us as a schoolboy. They wouldn't look at us and see us as a drug mule or someone like my little brother's age, because that's the age I really started, 12, 13, 11, that sort of growing up, hitting puberty. Like, even the general public, they would never look at a young person and think, he sells drugs. You can buy drugs in London for a very cheap price and sell them in a county or another part of London or a coastal town for much more money. It's simple economics that drives county lines drug supply. Your estate, where you live, that's how you're recruited. Because they see you most days, they know your name, they know who you are. And then it's all down to if they can trust you or not. Very difficult to say what draws young people to county lines because it can affect children from a wide variety of backgrounds. What we do see is that looked after children and those from black and ethnic minorities are disproportionately affected. And we also see the glorification of trap houses and drug supply in YouTube videos and in grime music. So it becomes kind of an issue where a young person might not even know that they're being exploited. They might just think that's the way it is. The way they glamorise it on social media and YouTube, you'd think it's a legal job. You would. And that's how they're targeted and brought into it. Criminal exploitation related to county lines could affect any child. We've seen children across the country from all different walks of life being targeted. However, the biggest risk indicator is poverty. As a child, if you've got no money and you want a brand new pair of trainers, you can't go to your single parent mother and ask for that. If you want the material objects, you've got to go and earn the money yourself. They won't ask you straight away, they'll make friends with you. And then after that, you start to trust them, they ask for favours and then they ask if you want to earn money and it just escalates. So there's a targeting period where they're befriended and they're given gifts and they're made to feel like they're part of a family um, and they're given warmth and affection, but also monetary reward and sometimes they're plied with drugs and alcohol as well. And then they are groomed to be part of a relationship very similar to child sexual exploitation, but instead of a kind of intimate partner, foe relationship, it's a brotherhood or potentially like a sisterhood or a family type relationship. When I was running county lines and doing country and things like that, I was going out to Brighton, Southend, Cornwall, Laysdown. There's loads of even just like Manchester, Liverpool, places like that, there are drug addicts everywhere. He probably is out in the county somewhere because he hasn't got any other family around here. And this is his only address, so we've got to keep trying until we, he comes home, I guess, and see what happens. It's very difficult to understand the scale of it nationally because it needs an extensive piece of work doing to try and map what is effectively a very difficult problem to map. What I would say is we've had some success in Lewisham in looking at our missing uh, children, particularly those under the age of 17, and mapping using the police national computer where they appear across the UK, and then adding them to a bespoke county lines tracker that we've developed. In a way, you're trying to prove something to a friend. That's one of the, another main reason. You're proving to them that you're not scared to earn money and hang around out of country lines and disappear for a amount of time and things like that. Whether that could all be all together. I mean... If the child is missing and found out of area, that's a key risk indicator. If the child has missing episodes and nobody knows where they've gone, missing episodes that might be a couple of days, a day, a couple of hours or a couple of weeks. He was found on Tuesday in Cambridgeshire. He'd probably be in custody if he'd been arrested, wouldn't he? He'd probably just been stopped in the street or something. Yeah. I think so, yeah. Initially, when we first did it, I was expecting maybe 40 or 50 children to go on that list. 
Presently there are 317 young people on that county lines tracker, which gives you an idea of the sense of scale of the problem if that is just the number of young people in Lewisham involved in county lines drug supply. Thank you.